Hi, I'm Teacher Raghain, at ipapakita ko ngayon ang point of view ng teacher at ng student sa Google Classroom interface. Okay, dito sa aking left side, makikita natin yung teacher at sa right side yung student. So, punta tayo sa Google Classroom. We type classroom.google.com. Okay. Now, let's go. As a teacher, I create class. I'll type the class name and my section, grade level and section. And then create. So, ayan. Let's see. Makikita dito yung classroom na ginawa ko. And then, here, you will see the class code. Ayan. Yan ang class code na ibibigay ng teacher. Now, let's go to the right side. As a student, I will join the class. Itatype ko yung class code. We enter ko yung class code na binigay ni teacher. At yun na magiging... Susi para makapasok ko sa klase niya. Join. And then, makikita ko na dito sa classes na may isa ditong box. Ayan. It means, enroll na ako o nakapasok na ako sa klase niya. As a teacher, usually, gumagawa tayo ng assignment. So, create assignment. Magbibigay tayo ng title. So, for example, English Quarter 1, Week 1. You can have the instructions there, optional. I'll set the points. It's 10 for me here. Tapos, maglalagay ko ng due date. So, Friday. And then, I'll put time, 11.59pm. So, that's the due date of this class assignment. I can attach, I can add YouTube video, link, upload file, or Google Drive file. Kasi meron akong image, I will upload file. Doon ko nilagay ang aking learning task. So, I'll find it. Ayan. And it's uploading. Ayan na. Let's see. Then, assign. Ayan. May assignment na akong nagawa. So, tingnan natin yung assignment. So, let me view my assignment. So, makikita yan sa instructions. So, yung image yung ginamit ko. Ayan. Yan yung activity sheet or learning task na in-upload ko. Punta naman tayo dito sa student's point of view. So, makikita ko na dyan na may due tomorrow na assignment. English quarter 1, week 1. Ayan. Tingnan ko nga ang assignment. Ayun, nakita ko na yung assignment na pinost ni teacher. Pagkatapos mong gawin ang assignment, sagutan ng assignment. So, kailangan ay picturean mo ito, i-upload mo ito ng malinaw at maayos. So, I have my answer na. So, ready na po yung answer ko. So, tingnan nyo, malinis, maayos, at malinaw ang pagka-upload. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, I will add or create. So, I'll click that one. So, I'll attach a file. Kasi picture yon. Ihahanapin ko. At, ayun, i-upload ko na. 
So for how many seconds, depende sa internet connection, ayan. And don't ever forget to turn in para ma-submit. And then another turn in to dalawang beses yan para sure, confirmation. At magsasabi ito na naka-turn in na siya. Ayan, makikita natin na yan yung in-upload ko. So ayan, naka-turn in na siya. So ibig sabihin na submit na po yon sa teacher. So pwede mo rin i-unsubmit. So babawiin mo kung may mga kailangan kang i-edit o i-resubmit o nagkamali, pwedeng-pwedeng i-unsubmit. Pero okay naman ako, so cancel ko na lang to. Now, let's see as a teacher. So, makikita yan sa student work. Ayan, nakita na. Ayan, makikita ni teacher na nag-submit na si Reg Hind Place. Ako yan, kanina. So, tingnan ko nga. Ayun, nakita na ng teacher ang sagot ni Reg Hind. So, let's try to check. Okay. So, ayan na yung answer key. So, as a teacher, may answer key ako. So, check natin. So, A, B, A, O, C. So, dapat A. So, I can comment here na yung correction ay dapat ang number 4 ay letter A dapat. So, next 5, B, 6 is, 7, R is. So, ibig sabihin may mali siya. So, Pwede kong ilagay dyan. 7, dapat is. And then, 8, where 9 is, 10 was. So, tama naman. So, I can put here, I can type corrections para alam ng bata na may dalawa siyang mali. So, I'll post that comment. And then, dalawang mistake. So, 8 over 10. And then, I will return it. Return a lit. For confirmation, na 8 over 10 ang kanyang grade. So, ito check natin. Tingnan ko nga. Ayun, lumabas na hindi na siya assigned. Nasa graded na siya na section. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, nabigyan ko na po ito ng grade. So, tingnan natin yung student's point of view. Ayan. Tingnan ko yung classes. Ayun, let's see kung makikita ko ba yung grade ko. So, pupunta ako sa classwork. Ayan, nakalagay tractor progress. So, got it. Ayan, tingnan natin. So, view your work. Ayun, so 8 over 10 pala ako. So, dyan makikita yung score ng student. So, ayan. So, sa grades, pwede tingnan ni teacher, ayan, na may isang estudyante dyan na nakakuha ng 8 over 10. At may isang student na naka-enroll dyan. So, ayan. So, yun lang. At sa stream na part, dyan nag-a-announce ang teacher. Pwede siya mag-announce dyan. Okay? So, yun lang. So, that's how it is. Done. Submission, checking, grading sa Google Classroom. And that's it. Thank you so much and I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial. Marami pang features in Google Classroom. You can just explore it and you can still learn a lot by doing self-study. You can check out a lot of videos on YouTube. Kaya teachers, students, kaya natin to and good luck to all of us. Happy learning!